Hi, welcome back to the tip of the day. I am a project lover. I'm the type of person who just doesn't like sitting and watching TV. I like doing something at night. Um, perhaps in front of the TV, but I'm totally too ADD to just sit there. My projects also have to be completed in under an hour. So yeah, otherwise I get really, really bored. So now that I'm, I'm off this week, which is awesome, I just have my two little girls for March break, which is really, really great. I'm finding I have more time on my hands, so I've been accomplishing new projects, and here we go. I made some curtains so easy. It was under $10. I bought cheap $2 a meter fabric, and um, just quickly whipped together curtains with some grommets, just to give a pop of color. Now, I made cheater panels, so they don't go all the way across, and no, I didn't line them. But the whole point of these panels is just to add a pop of color in my window. I used to just have nice, uh, plain beige ones there, but this is nice for spring, bringing in a pop of color. It doesn't match exactly. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I had fun doing it. It was under an hour, and I was able to create curtains for under... $10. So I'm really geeked about that using the same technique I did for my shower curtain, the curtains in my room, the curtains in my daughter's room, and those were made without even knowing how to sew. So check out my website at clutterbug.me. I put up a tutorial how you can make curtains for your home with a splash of color. Just get some cheap fabric and grommets. It'll take you no time. And even if you don't know how to sew, you can use that iron-on hem tape like I've did for so many curtains in my house. They're not perfect, but no one will ever know. Speaking of quick projects, here is a fun one that I've done. I've covered uh, baby wipes cases because you know how you have kids and they're always like, you take them out and they have sticky fingers. So I keep these in my purse and I just decided, I saw I saw these somewhere, I don't know where, and they were really expensive. And all you do is trace out the top, glue it on with hot glue, and then trim it with ribbon. So, I mean, they could be better made. I'm going to try to make another one for my, these were my, my test projects, so they're not perfect, but whatever. Just make sure when you're getting it, you get the kind that have the big tabs here to open up, like the big popper tops. I got the little popper tops, so that's why I'm not giving these ones to my sister, because they're hard to open. But I'm going to keep them for myself, because I'm greedy like that, and look at how pretty they are. Oh my gosh, these were pennies to make. I just used some extra fabric that I had. I bought, um, yeah, and some ribbon from the dollar store and some bee jewels. And look at how pretty those are. Wouldn't that make a super great shower gift? I don't know, it would cost you like five bucks to put one together. Or even for yourself, when you're pulling out your wipes case, it'll look all fabulous, you know. <laughs> Fun project to do while you're just watching TV at night. Bring out your all you need is a hot glue gun, fabric, and some ribbon. That's it. Anyways, those are your tips of the day. Check out my website at clutterbug.me for a tutorial on your curtains. See you next time.